A, B, C, D is the given square. E and F are two points which subtend an angle of 45 degree at the point or the vertex A. P and Q are two points which are formed by the intersection of the line segments AE and AF with the diagonal BD. We need to find the ratio of the areas of triangle APQ which is a smaller triangle and the triangle AEF which is a larger triangle. My students did try to solve this sum by using similarity trying to find out the angles and see if any triangles are similar. It did not work out. Obviously, the traditional method of using the formula for area is absolutely not working out because none of the measurements are given. So, we had to think in a totally different way. The first step I asked them to do was to mark all the angles which were possible to be marked in the given diagram. So, easily each of the corner angles could be marked as 90 degree because it is a square. This entire angle is 90 and this is also 90. You also know that the diagram of a square divides the vertices into two equal angles thus making each of these angles into 45 degrees and here also 45, 45 each. If I join P and F, you can see that the angle subtended by the line segment PF at A and at D both are equal to 45. I have separately drawn A, P, F, D. So you can see both the angles are 45 degrees. So you can say that A, P, F and D are concyclic points. So when I am joining A, P, F and D, you get a cyclic quadrilateral. In a cyclic quadrilateral, the opposite angles are supplementary or when you add the opposite angles, you get 180 degree. So angle P plus angle D is 180, but we already know angle D is 90 degree. So you get angle P also as 90 degree. So this angle is 90 degree. If you look at the triangle A, P, F. P is 90, angle A over here is 45. So, this angle, the remaining angle will be 45 degree. Okay. Now, APF has become an isosceles triangle where AP is equal to PF. If I am taking the measurement of AP as A, PF is also equal to A. Now, because it is a right angle triangle, right angle at the vertex P, I can find the measurement of AF by using the Pythagoras theorem. You can see that AF is equal to root 2 into A. Now let us proceed with the sum. Here you can see that I have erased the line joining P and F and now I have joined Q and E by using a line segment. Okay. So just like we did before, you can see that the line segment QE subtend an angle of 45 degree at the vertex A and 45 degree at the vertex B over here. Because BD is a diagonal dividing this into 45 and 45. This is Q and this is E and you can see that QAE is 45 and QBE is 45. I have drawn it separately from the diagram. So now you can say that the points A, Q, E and B are concyclic thus forming a cyclic quadrilateral the vertices being A, Q, E, B. You know that for a cyclic quadrilateral, as mentioned before, the opposite angles add up to 180 degree. So, because angle B, the entire angle measures as 90 degree. This is 90 degree. This angle Q for A, Q, E, B, because it is a cyclic quadrilateral, this angle Q here, this is a 90 degree. Because that is a 90 degree and this angle is a 45 degree, this angle also becomes a 45 degree, thus making this into, a, into an isosceles triangle. Now, we can take the measurement of AE by using the Pythagoras theorem. You can see how I have found the measurement of AE to be root to B by using the Pythagoras theorem, just like I found the measurement of AF using Pythagoras theorem. So, all the known measurements I have written over here.
So for finding out the area of the triangle, I am using the formula half into AB sin theta or you can say half side 1 into side 2 into sin theta where theta is the angle included between side 1 and side 2. So the area of the triangle APQ will be half into side AP into side AQ into sin 45. I know the measurement of AP and AQ in terms of A and B. So this is what I am getting. Now I will write down the measurement of the triangle, a, measurement of the area of the triangle AEF. The area of triangle AEF I have found out as AB by root 2. We need to find out the ratio of the areas of triangle APQ and triangle AEF. So we will divide both of them and see what we are getting. You will get the final answer as a 1 by 2.